I'm your host with us, Locum 23, Baby Bump 2, Chapter 22, A Night to Remember. Hopefully you're all having a good day. The night of your wedding. You, Miles, and the twins rest on a secluded bench beside the dance hall as you wait for your reception to begin. I'm glad we got a moment to catch our breaths, just us. I bet the kids like it too. Ain't that right, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Ben gives a big yawn and Justine follows suit, but as you tickle her belly, she bursts in happy giggles. <laughs> you lean your hand on Miles' shoulder and he takes your hand, brushing his thumb over your new ring. It's official now. We're married. Wow. Mm. Though it's just a word? I can't believe it. I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up and at any moment and find out this was all a dream. Miles reaches over and pinches your shoulder. See? Still here. And, uh, how about you two? Are you happy Mom and Dad are married? Ben stares up at you with big eyes, mouth agape, while Justine gives a happy shriek. I know this. <sighs> That's close enough to a yes for me. Miles gives the twin a small smile as he fiddles with the ring on his finger, spinning it around as if, uh, and then taking it off. Feels weird. Nice. Ben waves his hand on Miles' eyes, fixed on the ring. He smiles and places the simple silver ring into his palm. <sighs> you, uh, like that? Huh? Here, Justine. You can hold mine. You slip your wedding band off your finger and offer it to Justine, who slips a couple of fingers through it. <laughs> ben and Justine remain utterly fixated on the rings, their hands resting on the fabric of your wedding dress, smiles much as you in the sign. Photo. On it. Twins holding our rings. A perfect memory. That is just the sweetest thing. Out of the wedding ring photo. Oh. As you and Miles take your rings back from the twins and return them to your fingers, he let that us off sigh. You know, I never saw myself as a parent. But now you can't imagine it any other way. I can't wait for them to call me dad. Miles. We've got so much to look forward to. I've been so focused on their firsts as babies, I totally forgot about all the milestones we'll get to see. Uh, they're just a never-ending source of joy. God, I love you, Jen. I love you, too. Miles places his hand on your cheek and draws you into a tender kiss until a loud wolf whistle echoes around you. You turn to spot Anna and Elijah standing nearby, both of them grinning. So, this is where you ran off to? Should have figured we'd uh, find you making out. First of all, it was just a kiss. Secondly, is it already time for us to make our grand entrance? Not quite. There's still a few stragglers arriving. However, Miles, you'll just have to go wait by the door while uh, we talk to Jim. She'll join you in just a moment. But before he can protest further, Elijah shoes him off towards the dance hall's entrance. All right, now that you've gotten my husband out of the way, what's this about? We wanted to make uh, your reception extra special, so we went ahead and picked out a dress that's perfect to get your groove on. With a romantic flourish, Elijah reveals a garment bag that holds a sparkly blush dress and a deep plunge in the center. Go ahead. Try it on. You step behind the tree for some privacy and quickly get changed. You return to find Ben and Justine all dressed up as well. We may have uh, gone a bit overboard and gotten the kids something special to wear, too. <gasps> oh, they're so adorable and dapper. Have you seen yourself? You look absolutely incredible, Jen. Miles will lose his mind if he sees you in that. Nah, I'm sorry, there was no mirrors on the other side of the tree. Wear this beautiful gown for the reception, or complete the look with the twins to really impress Miles and your guests. Huh. 
Now remove the chair and let's see the gown. I think that's one of the many reasons we're here, but the children look adorable. I love the little flower for Ben. Ben and Justine are precious. Her dress is so poofy and I love his little vest. And this dress is beyond gorgeous. The dress isn't half as pretty as the woman wearing it, but I'm glad you approve. Ben reaches out and grabs a handful of your dress, his eyes wide, while Justine happily smacks her skirt, making it glitter and shine. I think they like all the sparkles. How could they not? Though I bet Miles is going to like them even more. They pick up the twins and carry them around the corner to where Miles is waiting by the entrance to the dance hall. His mouth drops open as he sees you. Jim. Indeed, looking good. For a moment, he just takes you in, his eyes trail along the plunging neckline, lingering on the exposed skin. You pass Ben to him, then lean in to give his cheek a quick kiss. I take it you like the surprise. I do. You're stunning. All for you. Miles flushes, his cheeks going red, and turns away before his gaze is inevitably drawn back to you. The kids look great, too. You and Miles turn to face the door to the dance hall. He takes a deep breath and smiles at you. Ready? With you, always. You and Miles step into the dance hall to massive cheers as friends and family form an aisle welcoming you in. Just married. Everything is decorated with a beautiful f blue fabric and vibrant sunflowers, while fairy lights cast the whole room in a magical glow. And in the center of the tables... Candles were just the right choice. Wow. Ah, oh, damn, Jen's really pulling out of stops. Check out that dress. Talk about making a statement. She looks utterly stunning. Miles is a real lucky man. Oh, Justine and Ben, they're so cute. Oh, that is the one perfectly dressed family. On stage, Louisa taps a microphone a few times to get everyone's attention. Introducing the newly married Miles and Jen. It's time for the happy couple's first dance. Get on the dance floor, you two. You pass the twins off to Anna and bow before making your way to the center of the room. You wrap Mile, your arms around Miles' neck and he slides his arms around your waist before the two of you start to slowly sway to the music. He rests his forehead against yours as he stares deeply into your eyes, his gaze full of warmth. I finally have you in my arms. I could stay here forever. All around you, people start clinking their champagne glasses. Kiss her, Miles! Kiss, kiss, kiss! Just do it already. You know, we were, and then all of you interrupted us. Should we humor them? I should... Kiss him. You lean forward and press your lips to Miles, melting into his arms as he, your eyes slide shut. He cups your cheek in his hand and deepens a kiss as the crowd around you erupts in a cheers. That's more like it. As you break apart, he gives you a soft smile. I'll never get tired of that. Don't worry, there's plenty more to come. All right, y'all. Dance floor's open. Get out there and... Oh! Lisa's cut off as Elijah pulls her onto the dance floor. The other couple's following Jebediah across the room to you and clears his throat. <clears throat> Seeing as how I walked you down the aisle, I feel it is my duty to be your second dance of the night. Then get out over here. Miles passes you over to Jebediah, who leads you around the room in a traditional ballroom style. Congratulations, Jim. It's a beautiful ceremony, and the reception decor is splendid. Thank you. To give credit where credit's due, my sister planned the whole thing. Jebediah lets out a wistful sigh, his eyes going, getting a far-off look in them. I wish my wife, Diane could have been here. We went to so many weddings over the years, and she loved every one of them. Was your wedding a big production like this? No, nothing close. It was a small private affair. It was always important for us to find time to spend together. Just us and our wedding was the same. Miles and I are definitely going to have to figure that out, especially with Ben and Justine around. I'm sure you'll have struggles, every married couple does, but you just need to remember to work together and you'll figure them out. 
And of course, chocolates and flowers go a long way to smooth things over. But here I am prattling on. I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to an old man's advice. Congratulations again. As a song, can him stew an in, Jebediah gives you a smile before making his way off the dance floor. You glance around the room, searching for your next partner. Uh, next partner should be your sister. She did help plan this shindig. Grab Anna's arm and pull her on the dance floor, where the two of you start spinning around. This place is beautiful, Anna. I hope you're actually taking time to enjoy all of your hard work. Someone's gonna make sure everything goes off without a hit. Yeah, you cut her off by twirling her around. Both of you are laughing. Okay, okay, I'll take it easy. That's more like it. Oh, Jen, I'm just so happy for you. I feel like I'm gonna burst. I'll hold you together. You pull Anna into a tight hug, which she eagerly returns. As another song starts up, Milo makes his way over to you with the twins in his arms. You take Ben and affectionately kiss the top of his little head. How's my big man? Wah! <sighs> mm, figure they'd want to dance. Milo shifts back and forth, bouncing Justina's arms, and she giggles happily. Oh, <laughs> You and Miles twirl around the dance floor with the twins. Anna steps onto the stage. I'm taking over the mic for the next event because our MC Luisa is determined to win it. Hell yeah, I am. That's right, y'all. It's time for the bouquet toss. All the single ladies, make your way to the other side of the room. You return Ben to Miles and get a position with your back turned to everyone else. Long, so long, bouquet. You take a quick glance behind you, sco scoping out where everyone is standing. If I wanted to, I could rig this. Alright, make your selection! Eh, <sighs> Luisa deserves it. He's also our friend, so... You know, why not? You see the bouquet soaring over your head, and Luisa snatches it out of the air with a celebratory whoop. All right, suckers, I beat y'all. The bouquet is mine. You'd better get on proposing, Elijah. He grins and gives you a wink. Noted. As everyone re rejoins the crowd, Miles returns to your side with the twins. Lisa takes back the microphone from Anna and drums on the table. Drum roll, please. It's time for the cake reveal. I might not have baked this one, but I'm sure Navi and Karen made it extra tasty, even if it doesn't have candles. Navi and Karen carry the cake out of the kitchen. Beautiful, and the flowers are a perfect touch, too. You two did such a great job. It's nice. <gasps> I... I'll just wait until you taste it. You and Miles cut into the cake together, his hand on top of yours before taking out individual slices. Sweet vanilla is the best! Feeding each other cake. How silly. You don't seem like you mind too much. You and Miles each pick up a piece of the cake and slice as you go to offer your chunk to him. Feed it to him nicely. He takes a small bite of the cake, smiling to himself, letting out an appreciative hum. Not bad. You hold a piece out to you, and the sweet flower or wa flavor washes over your tongue as you eat it. Are you kidding? This has got to be the best cake I've ever tasted. With your piece finished, Miles reaches out and brushes his thumb over your lips, ridding them of crumbs. You had a little something. Huh? Hmm. Do you two want to try a bite? Okay. Okay. Just a tiny piece. You still need to eat your veggies, so you grow up big and strong. You feed each of the twins a tiny piece of cake, and they get the frosting all over their mouths, giggling playfully. Oh my goodness, Miles, look at them. Mmm, messy yet adorable. As you get Ben and Justine cleaned up, Anna comes over to you with a big smile on her face. Okay, I know you told me not to go overboard, but I might have done it anyway when I came up with this fu super fun wedding game. Um, how do you go overboard with a game? Let me show you. 
She leads you and Miles across the room and pulls the curtain aside to reveal a massive wheel labeled with various things like show us your dance moves and the happy couple kiss. Everyone can turn us the spinning wheel and they have to do whatever it says. Oh, it's a competitive game because I'll definitely win. This is so silly. Sounds fun to me. And the wheel is a gorgeous piece of craftsmanship. Sure, let's do it. Tutorial, play the wheel at wedding wheel to make your reception unforgettable and spend extra time with all of your friends and miles. We don't, we don't, we don't mess around. Spin that wheel! I couldn't very well let all of you, uh, your hard work go to waste, Anna. Yay! Anna bounces on the balls of her feet and gives you a playful shove towards the wheel. Here goes nothing. You spin the wheel hard. And it lands on pick a couple to kiss. Hmm, who do I want to get their smooch on? The couple that should kiss is Luis and Elijah, Anna and Bo, Cassandra and Gavin. Luis and Elijah, I don't care about Cassandra and Bo. Or whatever. Are you serious, Gavin? That's his name. That's how much I care about him. <laughs> Bugger up, Luisa. Luisa's eyes go wide and she looks back and forth between you and Elijah until he takes her hand. Ignore them. Just focus on me. Luisa smiles as Elijah draws her into a sweet kiss that soon has all the crowd cheering. You two are adorable. Land walks over to the wheel and gives it a spin where it finally lands on Tell an Embarrassing Story. This'll be good. Well, there was this one time when I was doing some woodworking and I almost sawed off my finger with the router. That's metal. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Bro, no! Did you have to bring them in in the ice chest so they get reattached? Clint, that's horrifying, not embarrassing. Uh, it uh, became embarrassing when I uh, got to the hospital. They cleaned it all up and it just turned out to be a scratch. Uh, okay. Well, it's better than losing your finger. I couldn't agree more. I'll take an embarrassing moment over a missing digit any day. See if they can reattach a missing digit. Anna beams as she spins the wheel and slowly comes to a stop on share advice with the couple. Oh, I've got so many things I want to share. For starters, it's important to be open and honest about how you're feeling. Marriage is all about trusting one another and being each other's support from here on out. You're always a team. You should have been a team before now. Marriage is just a next step. And of course, you should always strive to make each other laugh. Same. Literally, I want you to think about this. Literally, marriage is just a goddamn title. Seriously! Se I, seriously, that's how I look at it. Like, if you love somebody, you should already be doing this and more long before you marriage. Thank you, Anna. It means a lot. What else are big sisters for? Bullying your little sister? I don't know. Step it over the wheel again to give it another spin, and it lands on show us your dance moves. Step back, everyone. You're gonna about to witness the ultimate dance ma master. I should twerk, check and dance, do the worm. I'm so tired of twerking. We're gonna do check and dance. Move your hands in front of you as you sing the lyrics under your breath. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. So I shake my butt. Oh, for the love of... As Anna joins in, so do a number of crowd, and while Cassandra face palms from the sidelines. You two. I'm embarrassed to know you all. Agreed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's true. Louisa comes next, and the wheel lands on shove a whole piece of cake in your mouth. Okay, and? I was born for this. Louisa grabs a piece of cake from the dessert table and pushes the whole thing in her mouth, slowly chews, and then swallows, and she takes a triumphant bow. My girlfriend is incredible. I don't know whether to be grossed out or impressed. Neither. It's just a piece of food. Grossed out. Impressed? Both? I'm... Yet no one said neither. I'm kind of depressed. Cassandra approaches the wheel again and gives it a spin. Her face goes bright red as it lands on Who was your first crush? I'm not talking about this. Come on, Cassandra. We all know it was Clint. She bites her lip for a moment, then monitors under her breath. Just loud enough for you to hear it probably wasn't. Actually, it was Gavin. Push her towards Gavin. 
Give Sandra a gentle nudge in Gavin's direction, which only makes her blush deeper. Go on, then. He wraps his arms around her and gives her a quick kiss on the cheek. I knew our souls had been intertwined since we met. Don't let it go over your head. It's finally time for Miles to give the wheel a spin, and it lands on the happy couple kiss. You sit all over to him with a smile. Gotta listen to the wheel. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a complaint. It isn't. He leans in to kiss you, his lips rushing softly over yours. Sexy. Wrap your arms around his neck and pull him in close as you deepen the kiss. You nip playfully at his, at his lower lip and he clutches your hips, dragging your bodies together while people in the crowd whistle. Ooh, I feel the heat from here. You crash your lips together once more, the rest of the world fading away until there's just miles. When you break apart, his eyes are wide, but you can see the spark of desire still flickering in them. Jim. Sorry, I couldn't help it. The crowd around you cheers and then slowly disperses. Anna joins you and Miles, grinning from ear to ear. That was so much fun, Anna. I'll never forget this. Oh my goodness, Jen, you're about to make me cry again. It was a nice touch. That's just what's best for both of you. Ah, uh, you've given us all that and more. Now, t nicely take care of the kids and me and Miles are gonna go away for a while and do things for science. As people sit down at the tables eating their food and chatting with one another, Louisa steps up to the mic. That's all for our planned events tonight, but that's no reason to let the party end. Keep it going and make tonight one we'll never forget. That is, unless you happen to drink too much. I think that means we finally get a second to sit down. About time. You and Miles take a seat at the head of the table and are soon presented with a delicious plate of food. Oh my god, I'm hungry. And probably tastes even better. Boone and Pitt trot over and lay down at the foot of the table, snuggled up close together. I bet you want some of this delicious food, don't you? You're spoiling them. Mm, only because they deserve it. Literally, they're wearing like little outfits. They'll be fine. The two of you eat various uh, friends approach to congratulate you. I'm so happy for both you. I got so emotional to the ceremony. I just cried on my makeup off. You look great, Mariana. And none of us uh, compared to Jen. She looks so beautiful today. She always does. Y'all are sweet. It uh, was a ceremony I was happy to officiate. Marriage is the most reversed institution, or revered institution in the world. After the law. Reversed. Yeah. I was going for it. Not really. As the others return to their seats, Hannah and Bao come up to your table. Your sister gives you a tight hug, her eyes sparkly with happy tears. I hope you two have been enjoying every second of your big day. And of course they have been. It's their wedding. It's been absolutely perfect. Thank you. Well, I'm going to keep up, uh, keep it up by taking Justine and Ben off your hands for a bit. So you can really enjoy the party. Mm, that's nice of you, thank you. It's still so surreal. It feels like yesterday we were kids and now we're both married. Mm, how's married uh, life treating you? Bao, I hope my sister hasn't driven you insane yet. <laughs> it's been wonderful, actually. When we started applying to different adoption groups and our, uh, have a home study scheduled for next week. Anna picks up Ben and Justine, bouncing them in their arms as she coos at them. It's funny how much adopted parents have to go through just to adopt a child when there's normal people who just bounce a wow wow and then completely screw up the child. But I digress. The power of creation some people just don't deserve. But don't worry, you two. Aunt Anna will keep you spoiling you. I'll just finally have some kiddos of my own, like a lot I've always dreamed of. And maybe I'll end up with the two. Just like you, Jen. Anna. Mm, I'm here for whatever you need. I know how important this is to you, so uh, if you need any help, just say the word. I'm talking recommendation letters, cleaning up the house, obviously babysitting the kids for date night. Jen, you're seriously the best sister ever. No, you are. As Anna and Bao take Ben and Justine, Miles reaches under the table and gives her hand a brief squeeze. 
Guess I should make the rounds, holler if you need me. He heads into the crowd, and you look around the room, spotting your friends and family happily chatting. Eh, Miles, quickly, get back here! Clint and Cassandra. As you approach Clint and Cassandra, you overhear the tail end of their discussion. I just wanted to apologize for my behavior a year ago. It was quite frankly horrible. I appreciate that, but it's in the past, cast. You've done a lot to make up for it. I'd uh, say a lot's changed for both of you since I came to town. That's an understatement. I've got two kids now. And you're not chasing after uh, unrequited love anymore, Cassandra. Uh, don't remind me. What was I even thinking? You weren't. I was already, uh, I can already tell Gavin's good for you. In his words, y'all harmonize when you're together. All right, while we're being all sappy, there's something I have to say to you, Jen, and I'm not going to repeat it. Hold on, let me get my phone to record this. Oh. I'm sorry for everything. Treating you terribly, trying to run you off, all of it. I just hope that in the future we can remain friends. Cassandra... You've been way better lately. You've clearly been making an effort and it's paid off. Sometimes I can barely remember the person you used to be. I still think I have a way to go, but I'm getting better and, and getting there. Uh, the friends are nice, too. You gave the two of them a wave as you head back over the festivities. Hey, would I, Gavin and Joel. You approach the Covingtons, who are gathered by the dessert table, and they all greet you with warm smiles. Hello again, Jin. Nice of you to make time for us. Congratulations. It was a wonderful ceremony. Ah, oh, yeah, not... Congrats on uh, tying the knot. Thank you. I'm glad you were a big part of the day. Uh, what are y'all's plan now uh, that the manor's safe? Actually, headed out tomorrow. The family business isn't going to run itself. I've got to wait to hug my kids and, and uh, see my wife. I'm not going anywhere. All your hard work will surely inspire the next big thing. Plus, Zeus is done, uh, isn't done with the dog park. You sure that's the only reason? Nothing about a certain blonde bombshell? My soul does feel called to stay near the one it's connected to. Well, Ben and Justine will love having their uncle around as well. He won't be the only one. With my business in good hands, I'm ready to retire, so if you need a sitter... Thanks. Mmm... You're gonna regret offering. Miles and I are always trying to find quiet time to catch up on sleep, so don't be surprised when we start constantly bothering you. It's a grandfather's job to help out and spoil his grandkids rotten. Gave Jebediah and the others a, a small smile before stepping away. Miles, Louisa, and Elijah. Find Miles, Louisa, and Elijah are all discussing what's to be coming to the mayor's office now that Craig is gone, with Boone seated between them. I still can't believe the town council asked you to be mayor again. Under the special election, or until it. We all know you're gonna win it. Seriously, you won't even la- You would have won last time if Craig hadn't cheated. Here's hoping. Still, it'll be uh, good to get back to work. Oh my god, Miles. All you ever think about is work. You need to take a breather. Let loose. Just relax for a while. Mm, you should listen to the Miles. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you can go back to work. But between me and the babies, I don't want you to overwork yourself. You and the kids will always come first. You're being cute. It's gross. I was going to say adorable. Reminds me that uh, I was thinking of setting up an elected panel to help with renovations. Oh, Miles, you're delegating. I'm so proud. <sighs> they talk with Gracetownians, come up with projects, present them to the council. It'd certainly be an improvement on the current system of Miles tries to do everything and then gets overwhelmed. Don't forget the part where he uh, drags the rest of us into it. You three would be good candidates. It'll take some campaigning. You did a decent job with me, uh, though. You shouldn't be too bad. Mm, look at us. Moving up in the world. As the three of them eagerly dive into planning, you take the moment to return to the middle of the dance hall. That night, as your party comes to an end, Anna, Bow walk up to you and Miles to the door. Ben and Justine in their arms. 
Thanks for watching the kids tonight, Anna. We need a break. Of course. I know you two can't have a traditional honeymoon, but the least we can do is give you a night together. What the hell do you mean traditional night or traditional honeymoon? Unless you mean leaving, which meh, overrated. And don't worry, we'll be watching them like a hawk. Two hawks. You press a quick kiss to each of the twins' heads and they beam up at you with their big eyes. You be good for Aunt Ayana and Uncle Bao, okay? I want to know. Miles gives them both a tickle on their bellies and they giggle. We won't be gone too long, promise. If you and Miles give them all a final way before getting in the car. It's a short drive to the hotel and when you open the door to your room, you're greeted by a beautiful display. Hmm, pretty. Rose petals cut over every surface imaginable. Candles cast the room in a warm glow and a bottle of champagne rests on the table. This is nice. Mm, they really went all out. Miles, all that matters is you're here. We could be anywhere in the world and I'd be happy just to be there with you. Anywhere, even a dumpster. Miles. You're the one who said it. You give him a playful nudge and with your elbow he smiles at you. Mm -hmm. But I feel the same way. Miles takes your hand and leads you over to the couch where the two of you cuddle up. Not a bad day. You see, if you think that way in a year or two when you're still stuck married to me, I'd never regret this. Never. That sounds like something to drink to. He picks up the bottle of champagne and easily pops it open before pouring you each a glass. What shall we toast to? Oh, that's tough. We got a lot worth celebrating. How about to... Having some time alone. No babies to worry about, no one bothering us. We can finally just be together. Mm, that's worth a drink. You both clink a glasses together and take a sip of the bubbly liquid. Miles lets out a soft sigh as he shifts closer to you. Finally taking a moment to relax. Mm, just glad to finally be away from the crowd. Oh, come on. The party couldn't have been that bad. Mm-hmm. But now I can do this. He surges forward to crash his lips against yours. You're you throw your arms around his neck, pulling him closer. He nips at your lower lip, teasingly sending a sharp thrill of pleasure down your spine and making you gasp. Seems my wife like that, my wife. It's still odd to say. Your wife would like another kiss, thank you very much. Think you can manage that? Instead of answering, he leans in to catch your lips in another heated kiss, bawling the fabric of your dress in his fist. You melt in his arms as he deepens the kiss, the heat building between you. God, Jim, the things you do to me. He ducks his head down to press tender kisses to your neck, each one a, with a spark that only grows your desire. You slide your fingers into his hair, digging your nails lightly into his scalp, and he lets out a low groan. I want you, Jim, more than I ever have. Then take me. Jim. Shh. You place your finger over his lips, cutting him off before leaning in to kiss him once more. He pulls you closer, his body pressed against yours, and you lose yourself in each other for the night. Ah. Uh, listen, I fat-fingered and I didn't do the diamond, okay? You'll live. Later, you and Miles are curled up in each other's arms. He leans over and digs around in his bag, pulling out an elegantly bound book. You brought the guest book? I figured it was a nice way to end the night. You flip open the book, looking over at the colorful signatures inside. Wish you all the best in the next stage of life, Jebediah. Congratulations, and all that, Cassandra. To the most stylish couple I know, congrats, Elijah. The stars have aligned for both of you, best wishes. Here's to many years together, Joel. Uh, let's see, Navia, Karen, Gavin, about damn time, Louisa. Warmest wishes on this uh, happy day, Mr. Covington. From the Office of Law and Love, congratulations, Keith and Mariana. Welcome to the good life. So happy for you both. Love your sister and bow. It's nice. There are the twins' hands prints. Anna must have done that when she was uh, watching them. You run your fingers over the page with a soft smile. Miles covers your hand with his own. It's perfect, just like today. Mm-hmm. 
He places a soft kiss to the side of your hand. I love you, Jim. I love you too, Miles. You snuggle up closer to him, and the two of you stay curled up together for the rest of the night. The next several months pass in relative peace as you and watch, uh, you and Miles watch Ben and Justine grow while enjoying time with your friends and family. You step into the nursery and make your way over to the twins' crib where they both are sleeping soundly. You tickle each of their bellies, waking them up. Happy birthday, you two. Huh? Mari. You've got a very special day ahead of you. It's Ben and Justine's first birthday! What celebrations lines do we find out in the finale of Baby Bump 2? Are you gonna witch? Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Sorry about not collecting the Miles thing. It's pretty much fat fingered, but again, you'll uh, you'll live with it. That's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay cool. I know it's heating up out there. This is actually the first May that it's ever been 90 plus for me, and it's only May, so something tells me we're gonna have a really hot summer. And uh, that's it. Uh, next up, it will be uh, Open Heart. And um, feel free to check out the uh, Resident Evil series on the channel, as well as Village will be coming out this weekend. Probably I'll uh, upload episode one later this evening, once you guys have got a little situated, and something to start your weekend with. And once again, thanks for watching, and I will also be streaming later this evening as well. Peace out.